All right, let's try this again. Take four. Yes, hopefully this works. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my curly hair routine. I've had a few people adamantly request this video on Instagram because I have been posting, well, I did post pictures with my natural curly hair. So a lot of you were wondering what products I use. So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you today. I just want to first start off by talking about shampoo and conditioner. I am not extremely loyal to one type. Shampoo I'm really not picky with. As far as conditioner goes, I am picky. I need hydration. I need moisturization. I need something that is going to leave my hair soft and manageable. One conditioner that I absolutely love is by Pura Dior. This is the Argan Oil Premium Organic Conditioner. This is the lavender and vanilla scent. It says it enhances shine, manageability, and control. It's gentle, natural, and nourishing, and it's also made from 99% vegetable ingredients. There's no SLS, no parabens, and no harsh chemicals. First of all, it smells absolutely amazing. Like I just want to hop in this container. It, this is completely empty. I've used this entire thing up. Besides the smell being amazing, this really moisturizes my hair. It makes it feel soft and manageable like it says. And I just really, really love this. And then days where I don't use this conditioner, I tend to go for a deep conditioner. I really like the Matrix um, Biolage Hydro Source line. I also like the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Those are two really good ones. Um, that's pretty much it for shampoo and conditioners. So I'm not totally die hard loyal to just one brand or type or anything. Once I get out of the shower, uh, the first thing I do is I use a cotton t-shirt to get rid of any excess moisture so my hair isn't dripping wet. I use a t-shirt because it creates much less frizz and it doesn't disrupt the hair as much. Once I get rid of the excess moisture, I just go ahead and start my routine. So the very first product that I use is the Infusium 23 this is the Moisture Replenisher Leave-In Treatment. This one has avocado and olive oil. Infusium has been around for so long. It really helps me detangle my hair. It makes it very manageable. I feel like it does cut down on frizz, and it just makes my hair very soft. So I absolutely love this, and I love that there is now a spray nozzle on the Infusium products. If any of you have been using Infusium for a long time, you know the awful packaging it used to have. So then the next step of my routine, and this is the newest product that I have been using. This is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coconut Curling Cream. It defines, moisturizes, and strengthens strands. It moisturizes my hair. It makes it soft. It defines my curls. It helps with frizz. It smells amazing. It smells like melons and coconuts. It's, it's like a tropical island in this little container here. That being said, if you have very fine, very thin hair, you might not want to use this. My hair is very weird. It's dry as is most curly hair because of the chemical structure um, of the bonds and the oils can't really reach the bottom of the hair shaft. But I also color strip my hair so it's a little bit more dry. I have a lot of hair and it's thick. I find even with my hair type that I cannot use a lot of this. I use a very small amount, probably like less than a quarter but it really gets the job done. So I'll take like less than a quarter size amount and I will rake this through my hair. Then once I have put the curl cream in, I will go ahead and grab the t-shirt again and I will use that to scrunch my hair. It just gets rid of any excess product, any excess moisture. Your hair will drive a little bit faster and it kind of activates that curl um, with the scrunching motion. Now at this point, if I have time, I will go ahead and I will plop my hair. I'm not really sure if that's the right verbiage, but um, I will leave a video link down below for hair plopping. If you have not heard of it, it's awesome. Your hair is going to be on top of your head. The reason I like doing this is because it prevents me from touching my hair a lot, and I, it also creates volume at the root. People do it overnight. Some people wait until the hair is completely dry. So I only like to leave that in for an hour, and then I will go ahead and let my hair air dry the rest of the way, or... I will um, go ahead and diffuse. The diffuser I have is from Ion. I'm honestly not a huge fan of it because it doesn't have a very deep pocket for your curls to sit in. It was the only universal one I could find and I did not find one on the Numi website that goes with my blow dryer. It won't disrupt your curl pattern and um, it actually defines my curls and if anything, it makes it a little bit more curly. 
So I normally diffuse with cold air because I really like to keep the heat styling to a minimum, um, but you can use warm air if you want it to move a little bit faster. So some days that is my entire hair routine. The infusium and the curl cream are enough, but other days I do need slightly more help, slightly more hold, a little bit more definition. So on days like that, I will go in with my Fave 4 Curls and Kisses Curl Cream. This is really nice because it is a curl cream, but it has a hold to it. It is the perfect hybrid between a cream and a gel. I love this, and since my hair is dry uh, when I put this in, I obviously don't rake it through my hair, so I'll take a little bit on the palms of my hands and just kind of pet my hair like that. It really tames the frizz, and then I'll just go through and scrunch it just to kind of activate the curl a little bit more. And then the last product that I use, I actually carry around with me. I don't use it every time I wear my hair curly, but I kind of just leave it in my purse in case my hair is looking a little bit dull. And that is the Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Weightless Healing Oil Mist by Organics. It doesn't weigh down your hair like a typical oil would, but it really adds a lot of shine, it smells amazing, and it really does soften your hair. So I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. I hope I answered all of your questions. If there's anything that I missed, feel free to comment down below and I will do my best to answer all of your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.